I thank my God always on your behalf, for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by him, in all utterance, and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. 1 Corinthians 1 verses 4 to 6 and 10 Sometimes when we study the word, we don't look between the lines, but just read through. The verses quoted today are an example of where this is very easy to do. Let's take a look. Paul begins as he so often does, giving thanks and then speaking positionally of who the believers are in Christ and what is given them by Christ. This he does in verse 4, thanking God for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ. Often folks will just think of grace regarding salvation, but as Titus 2 verses 11 to 12 tells us, salvation is the beginning point of what grace does in the life of a believer. Paul then continues to note the results of this grace given, stating that in everything ye are enriched by him, in all utterance, and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. Reading this, one would think that these Corinthian believers had it all together, but as we learn from the balance of what is 1 Corinthians, as well as 2 Corinthians, this certainly wasn't the case. Paul then gives a beginning insight into the root cause of the issues that the Corinthian believers were having when he states, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. So, we can begin to see that one of the root problems in the Corinthian church was that they weren't speaking the same thing, and there were divisions among them such that they were not joined together in the same mind and same judgment. And we continue to see the same types of issues in many churches today. And the question we'd all want to have answered is why? We will try to answer this question over the next few days as we consider the Corinthian problem and the Corinthian solution. Believer, we should all speak the same thing, have no divisions among us, and be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment with other believers.